This project starts with a mower from the scrap bin. It has no carburetor or fuel tank, which makes it perfect for this project. I need to get the camshaft out, so I take this little Tecumseh 150cc apart. I take the head off too, but I don't really need to. I take out the camshaft and cut the governor off. The camshaft is plastic, which is strange. I hole saw the lobe off the intake side. Clean it up and glue it to the other side of the exhaust lobe, making the motor work like a two-stroke. So when the piston goes up, the pressure can escape out the exhaust valve, then it shuts at the top. So the pressure moves the piston back down. and then it doesn't work. I think I had the timing out a bit. Also the muffler needs to be removed as it slows down the airflow too much. I messed with the timing a bit, but it works best on the standard timing when you line the dots up. And the pull start gives it a bit of a push start, like momentum to run. Time to make the boiler from LPG cylinders. I put a screwdriver in to bleed the spring valve inside. Then strap it to a tree because these valves are pretty tight. I fill them up with water. If you look close, you can actually see gas getting purged out as it fills with water. Cut the top off while it's full of water, cut some slops for the fire to exhaust and drill some intake holes. Steam. Then I just weld the firebox part to the top of the mower. Just welded a spark plug fitting to here. That goes to the hydraulic hose and to the spark plug hole. I did this up too tight and cracked this block so it's no good now so I've got a little T to put in instead. Right I've got about 120 psi in there from the compressor. Let's see if it'll run. Okay, it seems to stop at about 70 psi. All right, time to put the water in. Start with two liters. Oh, All right, this is the eco mower. It runs on coal, just like a Tesla does. What? So after ages of running, it's not getting up the pressure. I think the fire's not getting hot enough. Oh, 
All right, a few more holes. The coals are burning hard now. And we're starting to get some pressure up to about 50 PSI, 40 PSI. All right, just getting into the red line now. I might take it up to 180. This tank should be able to hold this. Hopefully it does, otherwise I'll die. It's at 120 PSI here and it should run. So I up the pressure. Alright, we're at 180. It's go time. Okay, now I'm not sure what's happening and the pressure really isn't dropping. Definitely pressure there. Ah. Something wrong with the hose. Oh yeah. pressure in that hose. Now the valve is leaking badly and I had to cap it with an air fitting to build pressure. All the way down to 30 and it's still going. So we're going for scrambled. After all that hard work mowing, time to mow down some egg on toast. It's a bit hard to test it now because the valve is leaking. Guess that's why it was in the bin. Um, I cut the ends off the hydraulic hose and put this rubber hose on here, which worked, but it was trying to blow off. You need to find maybe a hard line would be better. But I like to be able to lift the top off. I just made this the laziest way I could really, a better burner and I think it would sustain itself so you could keep going. Did it cut grass? Uh, maybe. Oh well it was a cool concept and it actually worked. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.